uh, an iOS device. Uh, this is going to work for, I'm going to use an iPad 2 as my example piece here. The process is virtually the same for iPads, iOS phones, etc. Um, almost any Apple device will have the same process. Um, for the sake of argument here, this is being done on a Mac, but the PC process will be about the same. And this is going to be on an iPad running iOS 5. iOS 4 should be a, the same too, so shouldn't be a big thing. So I'm going to go ahead and start up iTunes here. Uh, right now my iPad is not actually connected to the computer, but um, we're going to go ahead and plug that in. As you can see, it picked up my, my wife, iPhone wirelessly. <clears throat> so I plug in the iPad, and iTunes tells me, oh look, there's an iPad. So the first thing you're going to want to do is back up the device. So you're going to want to right click on it and select the option to back up. Um, Windows versions may have alternate options. If they do, you just want to select back up to this computer. Um, that's a sufficient process. What that does is that creates a new backup of the device with all your settings. Um, kind of makes a snapshot of what, what you have loaded on it for applications, your application data, things like that. And if you look down here, it says the last time I backed up was 7.07 p.m., which is the current time. So the next thing we're going to want to do is click Restore. So we're going to want to basically tell the iTunes that we want to wipe this out and completely reload it. So we're going to click Restore, and then we're going to hit Restore here. And it's going to say, oh, look, there's a software update. We need to you know, download that. Now, if you look, I am currently using this version of the software, so it's really relevant in my case. Um, if you're not on the current version of iOS, it will upgrade you to the current version. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Agree to Apple's Terms of Service, basically telling me that they uh, take in possession of my firstborn child. And we're going to let this run for a few minutes. And as you can see up here, there's about five minutes left. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my recording for right now. And I'll pick it back up when this is done downloading. I'm back. Uh, we got about 20 seconds left on the download here now. So we're just going to wait that out. Sorry for the dead air. All right, so as you can see, the uh, software update, now iTunes wants to go ahead and examine the file and verify that the file's intact and that there's no damage to it that occurred during the download process. It's going to open the file locally, so it'll open it in the background. You won't even deal with the actual extracted contents. And then it's going to communicate with the iPad and put the iPad into restore mode, hence why it just disappeared off of there and says it's being restored. So now what's going to happen is the iPad itself gives me the icon to plug into iTunes. iTunes is smart enough to realize that it's being plugged in already, reboots it, and puts the iPad into a full-blown actual restore mode where it is now looking specifically for software from iTunes. So we're getting a little progress bar that's going to appear on the iPad. <clears throat> and as you can see, iTunes is now waiting for the iPad to say, hey, I'm ready to go ahead and start being restored. So now we just sit back and wait for that to kick in. So as part of this process, one thing app does is they use something called hashes, where there's a unique identifier to your iPad. They store it on their server. It's a really long series of uh, numbers and letters and whatnot. This, it's called a UDID, okay? This UDID is what allows you to download and install versions of iOS. Like right now, we're installing version 5.0.1, which is the current public release. So they store these hashes out there. What you'll find is if you try to restore to an older version of the software, like let's say version 4.3.5, which was the last version of version 4 that was released, it won't let you do it because Apple is no longer signing those hash files, those those, UD, uh, those unique identifier numbers. So there's nothing you can do to go backwards. Once Apple has stopped signing it, you're pretty much on your own. There are special programs you can use that will allow you to store those hash files and, and trick iTunes into thinking that you're using a correct version of this software, even though you're technically not. Um, Apple doesn't officially support this, and it's one of those things where you're probably better off not to do it if you don't know what you're doing. But just as an aside note while we're waiting for this to finish, I figure that's, you know, kind of 
kind of useful information to those out there who might be looking at jailbreak or what have you and need to roll back to an older version of the software. Um, if you ever go to do a restore and it says, I can't restore it because your device isn't authorized for this firmware or this version of the software, you know, that's probably why. So as you can see now, it says your, iTunes, your, your iPad has been restored and it's going to reboot it, which it has. So, and this message will clear itself out after, you know, so many seconds. So now we're just waiting for the iPad to come up. Now, when the iPad comes back up after this restore, you will see a progress bar on the iPad, almost like it was doing another restore. All it's doing is the initial setup. As you can see, over here on the left-hand side, the iPad just appeared. iTunes has now said, oh, look, this is a new iPad. What do you want to do? Well, if you remember, we made a backup at 707, so I want to restore my backup right now. Uh, that's what this video is all about, is creating a backup and actually restoring it so that you get all your settings and stuff back. Um, if you continue to have problems with your device, then you're going to want to repeat this process, only select setup as a new iPad this time. Um, you'll lose your data. You know, it's it's kind of a, an inconvenience with it. But if you're still having problems, then something, something in your data is causing the problem, and the best thing to do is wipe it clean. So for now, because we're going to be working with the restore, we're going to go ahead and click continue. And what it's going to do is it's going to go and look into the backup file and it's going to take all that data and it's going to dump it to the iPad. The iPad actually says restore in progress now so it's letting you know that it is actually doing a restore. And like I said, the the process between this and the iPhone is virtually identical. There's not going to be any real difference between the two. Um, if there is, it's going to be very, very, very minor because all iOS devices operate on the same basic premise. Realistically, an iPad is nothing more than an oversized iPhone with some extra capability to it. So as you can see now, it says it's restored my settings. And again, it's going to automatically clear this window out for me. And hopefully when iTunes comes back up, the iPad will be finished rebooting. We're still waiting. we got a little swirly. All right, got another progress bar. And this is where the iPad is actually integrating all those changes that I just made. But as you can see, now it's showing up as, you know, my iPad not as just the generic iPad that's not set up. Now, one thing to note is down here in capacity, there's nothing here. Because like I said before, the backup only copies the data. It's almost a, it's only a snapshot. It's going to rely on what's stored in iTunes for all of its information. So your apps that you have should be transferred onto here. Music, movies, TV shows, books, photos. All that stuff has to still exist on the computer in order to be restored. So your backup is only the bare essentials to restore the iPad or iPhone back to what it was before you wiped it out. All right, the data, the apps themselves, the music itself, the movies itself are all still here. All it was was a list. Think of it like a shopping list. So what we've done is we've basically given the iPad a shopping list and said, here's, how, here's what I need restored. Now as you look, it says it's gonna sync. And if you look down at the bottom again, down the capacity area that just jumped back up to where it was before we wiped it out so what it's going to do now is it's going to go through and sync music movies photos etc i'm not going to you know keep the video going for that because <laughs> once i've got a lot of stuff that it's going to be copying back on there as you can see almost a third of the ipad's full so you're talking several gigs that are going over a usb connection that will be very slow so i'm going to go ahead and stop the video for now and um when everything's all all said and done and completed, I'll I'll chime back in if we need to. But I think that's pretty much the end of it right there. Um, once once it's done restoring all your apps and stuff, it should be pretty ready to go as if you had never wiped it out in the first place. And hopefully it'll be behaving better.